olive oil is liquid gold, and I'm going to share its spiritual power with you. Hi, I'm Alemi from Yeo Botanica. Welcome back. So great to see you all. Thank you for sharing us and coming back. And if this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Remember, we're yeyeo.com, Y-E-Y-E-O.com. And we're a spiritual and wellness supplier, which is why I do videos about all things spiritual. And I'm a Lemmy. I want to shout out, shout out, shout out. All my people from Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Woohoo! Welcome. So... I'm almost positive that almost everyone who has cooked before has used olive oil. It is liquid gold and it has some powerful spiritual uses that I want to share with you. So if you're curious about that, then this video is definitely for you. So let's get started. So the word olive really means oil, <laughs> believe it or not. And so this video is pretty much about olives, but the uses of the oil. And so olive oil is used in so many religious circles, cultural circles, spiritual circles, spiritual workings, that this video is definitely a, a video for people who are very religious or, and or very spiritual. So olives are very, very, very powerful. They represent longevity. And so in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what it represents. And I'm going to give you some ideas of how to use it and some things to do with olive oil. Olives represent longevity. Why? Because it takes almost 10 years for a tree to bear fruit. It represents abundance. There's no olive tree that if it's bearing, it's only bearing one or two olives, right? I have a friend who is Italian and she says to me, oh, we have an olive field and this year, you know, we didn't get a big harvest, but one olive is not gonna be on the tree. So she was like, oh, well, it was great, but it could always be better because olives are so abundant, right? So longevity abundance and on that note i want to share with you we have a prosperity and abundance candle by spirit in you that is really really wonderful and it has a prayer that speaks to prosperity and abundance the thing about olives also that really makes it one of those wonderful things to use is that it has a duality about it olives start out green and when they're ripe they become black for the most part, unless there's some other species that, um, of olives that we don't see in the supermarket very often. But for the most part, that's kind of starts out green, changes to black. So again, chain, duality. And olives, believe it or not, is both a fruit and a vegetable. Not a lot of those things. Again, this idea of duality, getting more out of what you expect, right? Then the other one is victory, which I really, really love because if you think about uh, for the Olympics, right, or uh, some of these big sports where people are getting gold medals or uh, being first in, in, in something, right, that, that has notoriety, they have a crown oftentimes of olive branches or olive leaves right or then we hear about this idea of giving the olive branch because it also represents peace it represents harmony it represents camaraderie right so these are some wonderful traits that are very strong about olives right so we had growth victory peace uh, what else do we have? Purity, abundance, fantastic. So around the world, people use olives for a lot of different works, right? And so I'm going to give you just a few ways that it's used in religion and spirituality. 
One is the anointing of the crown, right? The anointing of the crown is one of the ways that people use olive oil and it is used oftentimes, there's prayer with it, kind of like a holy water of sorts, but an oil version of old holy water, not water, but oil. So this anointing of the crown in spirituality, people anoint uh, different spiritual items with olive oil. It's also used for healing work, that you can put herbs with it. You can put all different kinds of mixtures inside of olive oil, even to make a tincture or a poultice of some sorts. Different kinds of uh, things for healing, taking away pain, um, healing sores, cuts, and so on. Olive oil oftentimes is also used in a way to consecrate a space, right? So some people also will put crosses with olive oil above the door, uh, their back door, above their bed, things like that. So we're seeing how this wonderful item that we used to eat and to cook with, which is so delicious, has such strong spiritual uses. And again, for abundance. And I have here an ancestor candle that's wonderful for prayer, wonderful for uh, venerating the ancestors. And this you can also anoint with your olive oil so that you can burn it for the ancestors as an offering to them, right? So again, we see olive oil being used in so many different ways. Now, I have a really sweet thing about olive oil before we wrap up and before I give you three wonderful spiritual ways to use it. So the sweet thing today with olive oil is if you are doing light work, whether it be light candle work or otherwise, you can use olive oil. If you're using doing dark work, you can use olive oil. So it's one of those things that again, as I said earlier, has duality, light and not light. So the th I'm gonna tell you three ways to use olive oil and we're gonna talk about one or two really great health benefits of it before we wrap up. So one of the things I like to do is mix olive oil with different kinds of salts. Himalayan salt is wonderful for abundance with olive oil, really nice to use. But if you wanted to cleanse yourself, you could put, wink, wink, a little bit of Epsom salt with olive oil and use that as a body scrub. Another way that you can use olive oil is to turn it into a spiritual lamp. So back in the day, they didn't have electricity, so they were using olive oil as a lamp oil and so you too can make a lamp and if anyone would like to see me make a spiritual lamp definitely comment below I want to hear from you and if you have any great comments and great suggestions to share definitely comment as well and lastly I want to say we had our lamp we have our salt and olive oil is wonderful to anoint your candles no matter what kind of candles you have so that you can make prayer and you only put a little bit inside and that will help to amplify your candle work. And health benefits of olive oil, which is really, really wonderful to know, especially if you're eating it all the time. It's in salads, it's in foods. You know, sometimes people say, well, is it grape seed? And if you want me to do a video on that, I'll do one on that too, because supermarket manage everything in the supermarket is magical to me. <laughs> but uh, it's wonderful for heart health. It's wonderful for brain health. And it's a great inf inflammatory and wonderful to warm up. And you can add herbs to it and put it on an area that may be swollen or aching. I hope you got some ideas in this video on the wonderful reasons why olive oil is called liquid gold. Try it. Thanks for watching. 
Give me a thumbs up if you got anything out of this video and share it with others. And see you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.